Hello. The determination of the mass loss in the abrasion resistance of the fabrics with the Martindale method. The determination of the mass change as a result of the abrasion resistance of fabrics. The test specimen is conditioned under standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. The conditioned test sample is spread on a flat surface. In this test, a Martindale abrasion and pilling tester, a 140 mm abrasive device to cut the sample, a 38 mm sample cutter, a 2.5 kg presser foot, a sample holder, a standard foam rubber, 140 mm felt and standard 100% woolen abrasive fabric are used. To prepare the specimen, it is spread on a flat surface and three samples are cut at least 10 cm from the inside. After cutting the samples, they are numbered and weighed. When taking the samples, we must pay attention to the fact that they include different warp and weft yarns. To abrase the specimen, 140 mm wide abrasive fabric is cut. Three pairs are prepared in this way. The reverse side of the numbered specimen is marked with an indelible pencil. These marked samples are placed in sample holders after being weighed with precision balance. Thirty-eight millimeter wide cut test samples are weighed with sensitive scales. To do this, the sensitive scales are reset and it is made sure that the valves are closed. The mass of the marked sample is determined by placing it on the reset scales. It is recorded in grams. In turn, the mass of the second sample is recorded. The mass of the third sample is recorded. Samples of which the mass has been determined are placed in the sample holder and are subjected to the test with the Martindale device.
The weighed 38 mm specimen is placed in the sample holder. To do this, the ring of the sample holder is removed from its slot. It is adjusted into its slot on the table. It is placed into the slot in a way that the front side of the sample is reversed. Foam rubber is placed for samples with a weight of under 500 grams per square meter. The diameter of foam rubber is 38 millimeters. The sample holder is compressed and thus the specimen is locked inside. Three samples are prepared in this way. The sample holder tap is removed from the device. The abrasive fabric is placed on the abrasing table for the sample. To do this, the 140 mm diameter felt and then the abrasive fabric are placed. You must make sure that the spinning binary system of the fabric is parallel to the device. The 2.5 kg presser foot is placed on the abrasive fabric and thus it is compressed. The presser foot is removed. It is checked to see whether or not the device setting is in the abrasing position. The spindles are centered. Spindles allow the tap to move smoothly. The samples that we prepared are placed in the slots. In the loading cell, a 9 kPa weight is applied to garment fabrics except on bed linen and upholstery fabrics and the pressure applied on the samples is increased to 595 grams. For upholstery fabrics, bed linen and samples used for technical purposes, we use a 12 kilopascal weight. Now, as we are testing the garment fabric, we are placing a weight of 9 kilopascals. The number of abrasive friction for a specimen is entered to the device. The specimen is subjected to periodic abrasion or the total number of abrasive friction demanded by the customer is entered. Resetting the screen, the number 5000 RPM is entered and the start button is pushed. Abrasion occurs on the specimen by forming the radial pattern. The test device stops after reaching the total friction number entered. Samples are removed from the sample holders and weighed with a sensitive scale. Samples tested at a certain speed are removed from sample holders and their mass is determined again. The precision scale is reset and the first specimen is placed on it. The mass value on the screen is recorded again. The first specimen weighs 
0.138 grams. The difference between the mass values recorded before and after the test gives the percentage of mass loss.